Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be <clears throat> Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising as well. A weekly tarot reading June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away to the spread. there okay <clears throat> so the first card which represents the topic for um, Taurus this week that will be the nine of Pentacles followed by the second card which represents the challenges that uh, Taurus has to face for throughout the week that will be the king of swords Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Taurus, that will be the uh, Chariot card. And the last one, which represents the guidance that Taurus is have for the week from Tarot, that will be the Two of Wands. So once again, we do have the, seven, uh, the uh, Nine of Pentacles as a uh, topic, followed by the challenges here, the King of Swords. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect, chariot card, and the last one, which is the two of wands, will be the guidance. So, Taurus is, <clears throat> uh, it's, um, it does depend where you're finding yourself at, guys, but to, to me, what the reading points is that finally you're going to get a chance, all right, that um, either your boss is going to give you a chance or your suitor is going to give you a chance. Someone is going to give you a, a chance. This is what the reading points. So you will have an opportunity to um, make a conquest <clears throat> or an achievement, you know, to jump further into your career matters, to achieve certain uh, monetary success here and to become very very proud of the of the look of your hard work which could lead to a wish fulfillment so the first card which is the topic of the week it is the nine of pentacles describing that you are going to be uh, very pleasantly surprised you know <clears throat> that uh, you have an opportunity to uh, get your idea along you know or to get your standpoint along uh, along or uh, in generally to take a participation into a project as well and so on and so forth. The Nine of Pentacles here points that you are going to be playful, you're going to be joyful, you're going to uh, gonna be filled with uh, sensationness or sensation if I may express it that way because you're going to see that the path in front of you is, is now opening, it's, it's now <clears throat> You are, be, you are getting clearance upon what you want to achieve in regards to your either career or in regards either to your relationship or social circle, you name it. It, it depends in which field this reading applies for you. But the Nine of Pentacles here points that finally you catch the big fish, right? This is, this is your moment. This is your time. And this week you will need to show yourself cheerful, exhilarated, you know, and determined to do what it is needed in 
so you can proceed forward with the conquest or with the endeavor which is again at the conquest so yeah it seems a a week of a, a major breakthrough where you will have to however you know impress someone not the king of pentacles but the king of swords which comes in the next card but here the king of pentacles comes as a catalyst to the nine of pentacles and the formation it is a passive supporters so this card tells us a couple of things you know first before you jump into this new conquest of your either you know <clears throat> jumping into new dating with someone that will be a conquest of yours or jumping into a new project which appears to be a conquest of yours you first need to secure your current endeavors your current uh things that that are around you before you can actually place an addition to it and on top of that guys the, the King of Pentacles here points that should you f face some sort of predicament, some sort of a plight, you know, some sort of a setback <clears throat> along the way to uh, become this uh, successful into this conquest, then you need to seek a your connections or you, you need to bring your connections into the matter. Ask a friend to help you, you know, ask for advice, uh, ask for opinion and so on and so forth, or, or, or ask someone to uh, also help you materially with someone, you know, like a loan or like uh, <clears throat> to invest time into your endeavors and so on and so forth, because this is how things are happening through a uh, mutual contribution here, you can achieve the best, uh, the best possible results that are that can be achieved in regards to this, uh, to this conquest or this opening, if I may express it that way. Then we go to the challenges, and that is the king of swords. So uh, that is the approval here that you're going to fight for from the king of swords. It could appear as your boss, it could appear as your new suitor, it could appear, for example, as your father as well. So what you need to do here in order to overcome that challenge is to convince that person, the King of Swords, of the um, productability, I don't know how to say it really, but of the uh, benefits that this conquest is going to bring up. <clears throat> so just to give you an example, that could be, let's say, your husband, and you need, and you are trying to find a home, you know, to buy a new home. So you like a specific house, but your husband is not very sure that they want that house. So this week, you will have to convince them. You will have the means. You, uh, <clears throat> you know, you will have the option to do so. You will have the opening to do so. That is your conquest to convince your husband that this is your house. This is your house where you're going to build up the family forward. You want to be a part of a certain project. You know, this is your boss where you have to convince him that you are going to be very valuable asset into that project. All right. And that happens by you displaying them what they're going to win if they put you into it and what they're going to lose if they don't put you into it. So that person, the challenge here throughout this week is to get a green light for that achievement from the King of Swords. And King of Swords cares only about the grand scheme of things. He doesn't care, uh, for example, that that is going to be uh, a personal favor, let's say. He doesn't care how you feel. He doesn't hear, care how he feels as well. Everything that he does is for the greater good, all right? And if your incorporation into this conquest is going to be for the greater good, then you have a, a green light. That could be as well your suitor, all right? Which is not very convinced that this relationship is going to go for a long run. Well, you have to convince him of it by being cheerful, by being playful, and by showing them that you are as well reliable. The accompanied card here, that will be the Five of Pentacles formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. So yeah, the concern of that person, you know, is that um, your involvement may create more or the uh, the thing you want to push forward with the, that conquest may create uh, more troubles than actual benefits. Uh, that person is convinced that there are more that lies beneath than you are actually presenting. So uh, that being said, when you approach them, you know it's. Um, with your demand and as well uh, with your idea, you also need to support it with a certain plan, how you're going to tackle with it. And that will help you tremendously to convince them to give you a, a green light. The accompanied card here, 
uh, not the accompanied card, but the third card, excuse me, which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week, that will be the chariot. So um, the chariot sits a little bit in the peripheral uh, stage of the previous couple of cards. The chariot points that this week you are going to be a very, very productive. You will really enjoy what you're doing and you will really will have the benefits of the look of the hard work. Additionally to that, the chariot points that you can make some wishes of yours fulfilled. You are going to be very proud of your achievement and you will be able to engrave your own signature into your projects and into relationships as well. Not to mention that uh, the chariot points that you are also going to sever some ties of dependency and uh, from there you are to proceed on forward by yourself or on your own, should I say that way, this time around, having the necessary means to push on forward with your deeds, with your relationships and with your projects as well which additionally are going to contribute of convincing this person because that card points that you this week, you are to present yourself very determined and very reliable as well that you can get the job done. The accompanied card here, that will be the two of pentacles. So the formation, it is a passive friends that we do have. And with these couple of cards, you will have no problem whatsoever to adapt accordingly to the situation and adopt as well the best standpoint or the best you know the best angle of actions uh, of action that it is possible for the conquest and for the enterprise that you are trying to push forward to so before we go to the last card guys um, i just want to throw up some thoughts here in regards to the reading um so this conquest in this enterprise, it, your, it is yours to define. This doesn't come out of nowhere, all right? So that is your goal. And uh, you need to proceed on forward with your goal for throughout this, uh, for throughout this week by overcoming this person, proving them uh, wrong by thinking that you will do more harm than actually good going along with it. And uh, be brave uh, because the chariot demands it. Be brave, guys, and uh, be persistent right be stubborn if you have to because with the chariot uh if you arm yourself with your iron wheel determination and you charge on forward even against the lords the path out of difficulties and the path toward your goal in general is going to be revealed very very shortly so the final card that we do have here it is the guidance and that will be the two of swords uh, the two of wands, excuse me. So the two of wands urges you constantly to seek improvement on your per of your personal skills. And that could happen when you fix yourself upon a new land to conquer or upon a new endeavors to conquer. So what we are talking about here, it is not security, is not achieving, how can I describe it? We are talking about here about you challenging yourself in one way or another where you take on a either new relationships or new projects new endeavors which are um, urging you to um, become simply better to improve to grow the accompanied card that will be the ace of wands and uh, the formation it is a active uh, friend active supporters and we definitely are talking about a new thing that is coming around. I mean, new gaining for enterprise that will allow you to expand on your skills. That is outside, however, from this conquest of yours. So uh, it is kind of like a plan B, all right? It is kind of like a uh, different option available that you can take on uh, after you achieve this conquest of yours. Because apart from the Tree of Wands, where the action needs to be almost immediate, the two of wands is more like exploration, you know, it's more like reconnoitering the environment. So it's it looks like that even though uh, you are to proceed on forward with this big thing of yours, with that big fish, you know, the, the, the elephant in the room, uh, still you will seek more improvement and more options for growth, which is a always good thing. And, and an idea or, uh, you know, a new opening is going to come up to you or is going to you are to figure it out okay 
which you're going to keep up for yourself until the time is right to act and to move on forward with it. So uh, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Tauruses. It seems a, a big week for you guys. Uh, it, it really looks as a, a week where you finally make major breakthrough, where you finally get better paid into your work, into your job, where you finally start dating more seriously with this person. Or you make your husband to buy the car you want. You know, it does depend where the, where the reading takes place. But yeah, definitely uh, you will have a chance to have it your way uh, in regards to a certain endeavor. And uh, that being said, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.